what do you think actually i'm working a lot on uh, rural applications like uh, uh, technology in agriculture ai iot in agriculture as well as for uh, rural education so i mean uh, what is your view on the roadmap ahead and uh, since you are already associated in bioinformatics and agriculture in a big way so how do you see the roadmap ahead uh, say by 2025 or 30 In IoT is widely we are using in agriculture domain also. Now uh, is all the drone based uh, that uh, remote remote sensing number of things we are using, and definitely agriculture research. If you are talking, then definitely the thing is connected with the rural areas and for welfare of farm, farmers also only. Mm -hmm. The robotics, IoT, the machine learning, a number of things nowadays our scientists are using. in their applications if you are coming to come to my shoot we can see a number of things we are using and government have also good plan for uh, the rural development and in this case it, actually one of my article one of them i think you may see you on youtube also a number of things are there number of government policies are there to support this type of rural uh, rural sector development research through this uh, technology technologies especially the iot ai based techniques are there and number of big players are uh, from it domain are also working in this thing but definitely the future is bright and uh, within a, you can say 5 to 10 year the whole agriculture scenario will definitely change uh, because uh, the thing uh, the government policies are also focusing towards rural development farmer development and uh, the private players are also come forward for this type of application the future is definitely bright and the change will be visible soon maybe you can say 5 year or 10 year the whole agriculture scenario will change you mentioned that uh, for big data analytics to be successful cloud computing is a solution now the challenge is that uh, a country like india is faced with problems in uh, national security uh, the power grids uh, are widespread and also agriculture these are three domains where big data analytics has got applications now if there is a cloud service based in us hmm. <clears throat> or elsewhere what is the guarantee that uh, the security of the country will not be compromised i mean that is a big challenge in the case of yes, cloud sir. of course i understand cloud within the country Actually, but cloud this, internationally sir, is two, a big challenge two type of things are there nic is a government organization that national information center so they are having their own data center the whole data is stored in our servers in within country through nic and especially in agriculture domain we are planning our own cloud that you are saying the krishi make in that all the agricultural related data we are storing at our own we are not dependent on us based servers we are putting the thing in house and all the thing we are maintaining here at our own centers so this security challenge and other things are definitely big concern so government policies has not allowed cloud computing models especially for government organization especially research data defense data and other things so for that purpose government has created their own data centers own cloud servers and nic is looking after that and especially in our domain agriculture domain we are trying to make our own cloud data source and we are giving the name krishi make for that coming to this agriculture domain now uh, there is a huge potential in the case of uh, you know precision farming how far have we reached there because that is a major application which can transform the country definitely if you uh, the precision agriculture is concerned that that iot based farming you can say cyber farming also we are using that term so definitely iot and robotics drone technology we are using and uh, especially in initial phase it is there in r&d more and some uh, field trials also we are doing so definitely thing will change field trials are also going on and precision agriculture is a hot research domain so iot based application we have started 
like uh, fertilizer spraying and other things irrigation we are using that iot based thing 